how long should you make your YouTube videos? Everybody that's rich, Boots and Jeans Riders. And what we're going to talk about today is how long to make your YouTube videos. So if you're a YouTube creator, or thinking about becoming a YouTube creator, and wondering, okay, how long should my videos should be? Should be? Well, I'm going to give you the answer. I'm going to give you the expert answer. So we got to get to some things so you can understand what the answer is and where the answer came from. So we're going to start off with talking about what is YouTube? Well, easy. YouTube is a business. And like any business, what do YouTube want to do? They want to make money, right? So the question is, how does YouTube make its money? And for the most part, we all know it. It is through advertising. Mainly through advertising, I guess you can say. Advertisers pay YouTube and they put their products in your videos. And if you monetize, then you make money also. Not a lot, but you make money also. So it's a win-win-win situation. Win situation for YouTube, the advertising, and you. So with that in mind, how is it some videos get recommended and more views and more watch time than others? Well, let's cover that right quick. So what YouTube looking at when they recommend your videos is one simple thing more than anything else is engagement. How long a person watch your video? Now views are nice also, but remember YouTube look at views as just one small proportion of everything. So YouTube would count a view if a person get on your video and just click it for one, two, three seconds that's still considered a view compared to watching the entire video which YouTube won't watch time. The more people engage on your video, the more money YouTube will make by showing your video to others by recommending that your video be watched by different people. So, before we come up with the answer, and it's an expert answer, I'm telling you, you want to stick around for it. It, I want to kind of show you how it develops. So we're going to come up with this scenario with two writers, first writer and a second writer. Now with these two writers, they are content creators, they are motor vloggers or whatever you want to call it. They make this exact same video about the exact same thing. Now for the purpose of this video, each writer has 10 subscribers. And we're going to use subscribers because we know people that don't subscribe to your videos watch it also. But let's just go with the subscriber thing for now. Each writer have 10 subscribers. And each writer make the exact same video. Writer number one and writer number two make the same video about changing the rear motorcycle tire. And, no, you can put your motorcycle in. Whatever bike you're riding, just use your motorcycle. But for this video, I ride a gold wing. So it's about changing the rear gold wing tire. So, rider number one makes his video two minutes. Great video. Two minutes. And all of his subscribers, all ten of them, watch the video. So, rider number one is happy. He got 100% watch time on his video, which equals to 20 minutes. And all his subscribers watch it. Watch the entire two minutes. So, he goes punch up how to change a motorcycle tire, and his video is not top someone else video is top. That's rider number two. Rider number two makes the exact same video except rider number two video is 10 minutes. Now I know you all probably know what I'm getting at. Rider number two video is 10 minutes and he has 10 subscribers also. However, only five of his subscribers watch the video and they don't watch the entire 10 minutes. Let's say they only watch seven minutes. So five times seven is 35. Therefore, YouTube say rider number two have more view time, more watch time, regardless to how many views he have. So obviously, his videos get recommended when people type it up, changing a rear tire on a gold wing. Now you would think, okay, well, all rider number one had to do is make his video ten minutes long. Ah, not necessarily. Rider number one say, okay, I'm gonna make my video ten minutes long. But rider number one decides to put up bunch of useless information in this video like what he had to eat last night 
way he, what time he woke up, brushing his teeth. Things that have nothing to do with changing the rear tire. Bear with me, I'm getting to a point. Whereas rider number, the, the other rider who made the original 10 in the video, he had in this video of the importance of changing the rear tire. He Maybe he talked about the tools, maybe he talked about checking your tires on a regular. Everything he talked about lead, led up to changing up the rear tire. Now the second rider, who, the first rider who padded his video up to make it longer, if I come on there looking for how to change a gold wing rear tire, you talk about everything in your first five minutes of, the, of a ten minute video that had nothing to do with changing a gold wing rear tire, most likely I would click off it. And that's what YouTube looking at. So now, with that in mind, I've done that for a reason. With that in mind, what is the answer? How long should you make your videos? We gotta look at this also. The expert at YouTube saying that the average person will be off your video, they will lose interest if you're not engaging them in that subject that your title said within six minutes. Now that doesn't mean to make your video six minutes. That's just letting you know. You need to get these people interested in your video. The second thing that the experts are saying, the average length of a video, the average length, it's not the answer, but it's one of the answers. The average length of a video is eight minutes, eight to 12. So if you're making your videos somewhere around 8 to 12 minutes, you kind of in the realm, but you still got to have a lot in your videos to get them recommended. You got to keep people engaged. They're looking at engaged, but how long somebody will watch that video? So here's their answer. The answer that you all have been waiting for. And it is, you make your videos as long as it takes to get your point across in a short amount of time you can do it as long as it takes to get your point across in a short amount of time the shortest amount of time you can do it which means right of number one he done it in a short amount of time you can do it and right of number two decided I made it longer because I wanted to get some information out there he put a more pertinent information of changing the tire out and rider number two or rider number one I should say just came on and changed the tire so when you're making your titles make sure you stick to what the title's saying for the most part of your video for instance this is why I spoke of YouTube as a business this is why I spoke of the two riders so you can get why you should make your video as long as it takes to get your point across at the short amount of time as possible. Because I didn't want to just give you the answer and you keep making long videos and say, well, it's not working, Rich. Or you make short videos and you say, You're not, it's not working, Rich. For instance, our travel videos tend to be the longest videos that we make. And the reason that that is is because we hope to inspire other riders to get out there and see the current country and or the world. Go out and travel. Get on your bike and have a great time. Whereas if you look at our videos where we're doing parking lot training or shall you call it parking lot practice, they're kind of short and they're short for a reason. You want to get to the point so you can get out there and practice. And then you have our videos like this, the speaking vlog videos where I actually adhere to I actually adhere to getting a point across as long as it takes to get the point across in a short amount of time as I can do it so it took me this long to get this point across and hope that you understand it so if you plan on starting a YouTube channel regardless what type of channel that you have I hope this gives you some insight on how to make your videos and remember the thing that you don't want to do is pad your videos with useless information because yeah we all seen it when somebody talk about the beautiful fall colors and that's what they label their video and they ride in that city and see no fall colors until they decide to take one back road and the last minute of the video they show the fall colors so that's all I have for right now so if you enjoyed the video you know, give us a like so thumbs up 
and if you hadn't already consider subscribing but if y'all riding remember ride long ride hard ride strong and most importantly ride safe from Booster Jeans Riders I'm Rich and I'm out peace